The splendour of London's Islamic Cultural Centre was this week given protected heritage status by the British government. A golden dome and a light flooded prayer hall were built in a corner of Regent's Park after Winston Churchill offered the site in 1940, in recognition of the religion's importance throughout the British Empire. They have taken this as, as, uh, as a symbol of the modernity in architecture during the 60s and 70s in London. And this is one of the reasons it's actually listed. The first fund for the new mosque was set up more than 100 years ago in 1910. The idea of having uh, London's uh, central mosque in London actually is a quite old idea. The idea came to be a dream to come true actually in 1936 when that was discussed in, in, in the House of Lords and then about granting Muslim, uh, Muslims a land in the heart of London to have a central mosque because there are many British citizens who actually are Muslims in, in the UK and outside during, the, during that time. The listing is not only preserving the important places of worship, but also celebrating the rich heritage of Muslim communities in England. The beautiful thing about Islamic Cultural Centre, it doesn't serve a certain community of Muslims, it serves all communities. Uh, all communities are here also based on the fact that is the directors are the Muslim ambassadors from all, uh, most of the countries.